Uh, PlayStation CEO Jim Ryan revealed a wave of information in an interview with uh, Nick Hay, uh, including that the company has quietly, sorry, has quietly invested in producing more first-party titles and acquisition opportunities, uh, stating, uh, "We will make sure that the PS5 generation will have more dedicated software than ever before." Sorry, I, I am not used to my freaking uh, notes being on my second monitor. It's a little bit further away, so I strain. Uh, consumers' faith in Sony's Japanese-centric output was shaken when news broke months ago that Sony Japan Studio was shuttering its doors while reallocating staff to support Astrobots. Uh, but Jim Ryan remarks that PlayStation is committed to the Japanese market, saying, It is important for us to provide software that fits the Japanese gaming community, and PlayStation 5 has included a lot of software from Japanese developers since its early stages. We will continue to strengthen our ties with Japanese developers and release content for PlayStation 5 that fits the Japanese market. Um, I, th I think... Um this is a little bit important because there has been like a bunch of increasing worries that Sony's is putting all their eggs in one basket, like whether it's Naughty Dog or uh, Santa Monica and whatnot. And then just like kind of even that that general public perception that they are moving away from the Japanese markets. But it is, uh, I think, reassuring knowing that, yes, they are still investing in, in newer games into uh, into studios, especially those in Japan. Um, any general thoughts? I'd say it's a, a good thing. They need to re-up that confidence because I, I, I've been with PlayStation since the beginning, man, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, Xbox on a consumer friendly point is leagues and leagues ahead of them. And the, the one thing that Sony has in their back pocket is exclusives and they need to be very much more all encompassing of all of their studios. Like if you go to Japan studios, wiki, they have a, tons and tons of games that you wouldn't even think that they were attributed to but they had a part in and losing that japan side of it is you know cutting off an arm and a leg in my mind and giving them less of an up because people look at game pass and they look at all the consumer friendly stuff from xbox and they say well maybe i could go with that i don't need a playstation yeah especially on that front since uh xbox historically has not had much um uh, Japanese support like they've had some stuff here and there but it's never been a consistent front for them they, they've definitely been like re-upping it on it with um, deals with uh, Yakuza being on Game Pass I think every mainline game in Yakuza is now on Game Pass which is kind of crazy because that and was like such historically a PlayStation only series and a ton of Final Fantasy games too apparently also mm -hmm. uh, Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 and 2.8 are all on Game Pass and King nice. Mark 3, which is fucking nuts. Yeah, That's, and um, to think even 10 years ago that Xbox <laughs> would have these titles unfathomable, right? Yeah. yeah I, I, think, I think even generally this is really reassuring, especially since there was a little bit of a uh, I would say overblown PR nightmare with like all the Days Gone stuff going out with the um, Naughty Dog stuff, the Last of Us remake. Like, like Sony's had a bit of a rough go of it in the public sphere where it's just like yeah they are shoveling their money like into these very few studios we're gonna get this we're gonna get fewer but i don't want to say bigger as in like open world but like bigger budget games but yeah nice to know there's still going to be a decent uh quantity especially since microsoft's strategy has literally been we are going to buy so many fucking studios we're going to have like Obviously, games take a while to make. All the acquisitions they made even a few years ago aren't necessarily going to come to fruition until still a couple more years down the line. And then you add the fucking Bethesda stuff on top of that. It's like Xbox has a lot of good shit coming their way. So, yeah, Sony has to prime up if they want to uh, to win on that front as well. Also, I don't know if it... I, I didn't really think it deserved its own little news story, but... Uh, Starfield is going to be an Xbox exclusive. So What's Sony Starfield? really that is the new uh open world I I guess uh sci-fi open world RPG by Bethesda. Oh yeah, is that the one that's like it's been out for so it's been announced for so long that people for a while were like it's not happening and then the last year they were like no, like here's actually a bunch of footage from it. Yeah. And and Sony just 
doesn't have an equivalent for a lot of that stuff right now actually because because what they have so they have starfield now they're going to have fallout sky oh it's elder scrolls when does skyrim 2 come out uh uh prey uh wolfenstein dishonored i guess Deathloop is still coming to playstation but, but yeah microsoft just has a lot of stuff in their ring and i they even have Obsidian, which, like, for a lot of people, it's like, oh, that's, like, basically the kind of games you used to go to Bethesda for, but have kind of been shaky lately. Like, they're going to be doing Avowed, which basically just looks like Obsidian doing what Elder Scrolls could was, like, t- 10 years ago, but, right. like, with modern hardware or whatever. Well, that's the assumption, anyway. Um, well, if the I new th- rumors to be believed, Starfield's going to be a mixture of No Man's Sky and... uh. Oh, what was it? It was one of those roguelikes, the space roguelikes. Uh, infinite right. something. I, th- like, I think even. I, th- I think even to like push back from that, if we want to do like the tit for tat strategy, it's um, PlayStation does not have anything like those games within their exclusive library, uh, like genre wise or or anything like that. So. I think ultimately Xbox is creating an environment where Sony does need to re up and that w- that is ultimately going to produce uh, more games, better games. So I think ultimately I'm excited to basically play everything that's going to be coming out. Yeah, fairly. Yeah. I don't have much else to add. Um, I pretty much agree with everything else everyone said. Yeah, but but those games aren't exactly my thing. But I'm going to get Deathloop because that game looks really really cool. Is but, there something generally about Bethesda games that turn you off, or way that every character stares at you? <laughs> Wait, are, are we talking Bethesda Game Studios? Or are we talking because Bethesda has Bethesda Game Studios, Arcane, um, Tango Game what Works, kind of cool. <laughs> Machine? Yeah, I really like the like. If we're talking like games that Bethesda have published, I love the Wolfenstein series, like all the new wolfenstein games so much like they hold a special place in my heart but like games that bethesda makes i just i try so hard and uh, again it's the way the characters stare at you i'm not a fan of how glitchy they they are and i get that some people call that a feature but it's not let's just be real like i just i'm not a fan that was bullshit do you, do you not yep. enjoy getting yeeted by a giant into the atmosphere? No, because my favorite story of how I got fucked over was when I first played Fallout 4 because a friend let me borrow it. And I went to enter a building and in between that half a second that I entered the building and I got shot and my leg got crippled, the game autosaved. And the autosave broke my game, so even if I was able to escape the area and reload, my leg was crippled forever. Wow. I could not fix it. I restarted my console, I cleaned my disc, I did everything. But my right leg was crippled forever. (laughs) And I... That's a good just, RP experience, I guess. I just can't <laughs> do it. If you, if you, if you, like, if you like, like fully commit to it, that'd be an interesting playthrough, I guess. Like, well, no, because it literally halved my health. Because you know, once you, I don't know, once you get a leg crippled, half your health is gone. Like, I understand that. That shit is bad, but it's like it was. I just was so angry because I was like, seriously, this is a next gen game, and shit like this is still happening. And it's like, don't release Skyrim 15 goddamn thousand times, and it'll still be broken, and it still won't be fun. Bethesda it, loves money. It, 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 it Yes, I honestly feel like Bethesda only cares about, because they know their fans are going to buy their shit. I rather care about the stuff that the Bethesda game studios are doing, like Arcane, like, like Machine Head. I may not be a fan of the new Doom games, because they make me sick to my stomach, literally, but like, those are cool. Doom, Doom guy's nice. I know what you meant, His but you do wonderful. gotta be careful the way you say that because Bethesda Game Studios is literally the name of the developer, yeah. and oh, Bethesda it is? Games is the publisher. Oh, so, like, you I gotta didn't specify know that. like the studio is owned by Bethesda when you say that. Okay, I'm not trying. To, yeah, I would never no. give a shit about like nomenclature. I honestly don't. I literally mean so that like otherwise people may genuinely have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. Oh. Um, uh, to, to, to just yeah, go over I, like some of the. 
uh, I guess, latest games just under that general umbrella. It's uh, Ghostwire Tokyo, Deathloop, Doom Eternal, uh, Wolfenstein, Rage 2, Elder Scrolls, Fallout, uh, Evil Within, Dishonored, Prey. Um, I think that's most of the newer stuff. Yeah, they, they have a pretty good uh, diversity under that general umbrella. That's that's not just the um, Bethesda Game Studios proper. I need to replay Dishonored. Waiting for Skyrim PS5 remastered. Do you think they're going to do Skyrim 2 in VR? <laughs> I already did Skyrim in VR. You can also play Skyrim, Skyrim 2 on your, in uh, VR. Sequel to Skyrim. On your, on yeah. your smart home product, which Eld- I have not tried yet. But Elder, Elder Scrolls 7, Skyrim 3. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it. As you say it, they manifest it. All right, I think that's going to go to do it for the show. We're like, actually, damn, we're doing, by our standards, we're doing pretty good on time. We are only three minutes over. Usually it's no, far usually more. Usually we're like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> um, with that, I just want to go ahead and thank everyone for um, for stopping by, for watching the show, uh, and for supporting us. Uh, we'll just go ahead and do the typical spiel. Um Game Session Podcast is filmed live here on Sundays at 6.30 p.m. PST. You can find it later on podcast services as well as on YouTube as individually cut up episodes and individually cut up segments and uh, full episodes. Uh, you can support me over on Patreon. I got my link my link tree down below. You can find my Twitter, uh, Twitch, YouTube, blah, 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 wherever you're watching this. as everything you would ever need down there. Um, everyone's ads are on screen. Their links are going to be in the description. Uh, I just want to go and thank Sarah, Blaine, and uh, especially Raman for being here and uh, hanging out. Anytime. Thank yeah, you. thanks for having I, me, guys. Thank you. I just, I just took a, a liberty of linking those links again to the different uh, pro Palestine things you can do as far as charity donations, ways to educate yourself, things you can do as far as calling representatives. It's just those four links I just put in the chat. Thank you for that, Blaine. Thank um, you. Any, yeah, any, gen- thanks. any general closing statements? Heisenberg isn't a bad person. I mean, he, I mean, he's a bad person, but like, I, I don't want to say the word <laughs> and get you demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say the word and get you demonetized. That's, it's all I'm good. <laughs> Only people know what I'm talking about. I don't know. I am so far gone, dude. All right, I think that's going to do it. Um, Thanks for hanging out, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Take care.